day one of demolishing this bus, ripping out the interior. We're gonna take out the seats and these like back things behind the driver's seat and up here. Actually match, I just noticed. Yeah. I'm matching the seats. And we You're have matching the, the seats. Uh, and then we're gonna take out as much of the floor as we can today. And that'll probably be it for today. Future plans is gonna be take out the stuff in the walls, take out the stuff in the ceiling, turn it into our home. So I've done all the YouTube research I can do and the easiest way is gonna be to grind these bolts out of all the chairs. Um, thankfully, looks like there were already a bunch of chairs taken out. I mean, all of them, but two. So. Yeah, it's just the two. That one and that one, and then the little backers. The floor itself is gonna be this like rubbery vinyl with some plywood underneath it, and we're gonna have to crowbar it up. Hopefully it won't be too much of a pain. But we've mapped out um, everything. Do you want to give them a tour of our bus? <laughs> Here's a tape measure tour. <laughs> this part is where we're putting planning so far. I'm putting our kitchen counter space. Well, the sink will probably be somewhere on this side because it can't be over the wheel well to know the jugs and stuff wired underneath. And then we're going to do alcohol stove that we'll probably just store and put up when we want. So it'll just be empty counter space. For the part, right behind them. These two rough estimates of our little like, bench seats under here. Probably where we're gonna have our litter box for our cat. Under this one is gonna be the fridge. And then we wanna do a little drop down table situation. Oh, there is a hornet oh. in the bus. I say, I hear someone that's scaring me. You're scaring me. Please go back out. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, a little hornet I'm break. Not invited in. Yeah, so here's the plan for the shower. Turn this into a little shelf for all of our stuff. We're gonna try and fit the toilet in here too, so it'll be interesting how we finagle that. And so this will be our bed here with a bunch of storage underneath. We wanna make it so we can lift the entire thing up and store all our clothes and things we use less towards the bike. But that's our rough plan for now. <laughs> First of many demo days. We bought a little fire extinguisher. We've got our tools camera those things before we went and grind it away we decided to just double check under here these are the bolts for the chair and there's only two with actual nuts on them and the other ones don't same is true for these ones up in here um so before we go and like make a whole commotion and grind like crazy i'm gonna go ahead and grab a socket wrench and see if they budge at all and if they do budge then we'll do that because it'll be maybe easier I'm not sure. We'll find out. It moves. That one moves. That one moves. That one moves. I think I'll give you the socket wrench for up here. Okay. And then I'll go down below and I'll hold the bottoms. Wow, what a turn of events. That It's going to be pretty easy. I actually don't have to grind a bunch of metal and get all gross. So I'll give you these knee pads. We don't have to do any work. We got Steve and Josh to do everything. Steve, are those coming out all right? So far, so good. Okay. All right. He's got the... This is very good with the one that goes to the back door, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, man. Thank you, So I'm pretty sure the whole bottom of the bus has been painted with an anti-corrosion paint already. 
You can tell by the, you know, we just took those bolts off, which is just so fantastic. Yeah. So we'll have to touch up some spots, definitely. Um, but, you know, super solid, super solid. Go ahead. All right, so we got the two seats out. Working on the walls, relatively easy. Josh has been pulling all this stuff up. Our floor plan. You ripped it up, Josh. <laughs> How it was but a saboteur this whole time. Oh, you probably have to cut around those wires too, huh? Yeah. And then later down the line, we'll like get the rest. Do it all over my forehead. We're ripping the floor out. The rubber came up really easily. The plywood is just screwed in. So it popped up real nicely too. And I got Steve here helping me. Don't tell his brother. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Forgot the cone. Ah, oh, man. Oh, darn. It's stuck here forever now. It's probably is stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> The floor came up way easier than we thought it would. So that's cool. I watched a whole bunch of like nightmare videos of people taking the floors out and yeah, none of that problem. Um, everything in here is riveted, which is a pain in the butt. We got one wall off um, and it took a while. So we gotta keep working on it. Um, but we kind of went into today without a plan and now we're like, oh shoot, we probably should have had a plan because now we don't know what to do next. We're going to hold on to this plywood uh, because it's in really good shape, so we can reuse it for something. It's covered in glue, but as long as we don't, uh, I don't know, we'll figure that out. <laughs> we'll figure that out. And there is insulation in the walls, which is interesting. So we don't know how good it is, but it's there. So we might, we're going to leave it in there for now. 
Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, the other bigger project is that heater thing that we have to said, cut. Oh, yeah. Up. Yeah, we can't take the rest of the floor out because we have this auxiliary heater. And I gotta get the, I have to get some tubes so that I can reroute the coolant back into the engine. And then we can take that out and then we can get the rest of the plywood. But really not an issue because the plywood came out so easy that it's not like, it's gonna be a whole project. It's gonna take two minutes once it's off. So not even two minutes. So that's not a problem. The rubber all peeled right off right away. That was super good. Whatever glue they used wasn't the best, yeah. thankfully. Yeah, the thing is up here. And then, yeah, we have to figure out what we're going to do with all this. Spend a day ripping all the rubber out. Whatever that gross insulation stuff is there. We'll have to take the seat out. And then I got to get a lock for this door so that we can remove all this. And then we got to deal with all the electrical, which looks just like so much fun. Excellent cord management. And to top it all off, the blinkers only work 50% of the time, so we gotta figure that out. Josh did it, he got the wall off. Ah! <laughs> Could not be beaten. Oh, he threw his juice on the ground. <laughs> Unbelievable.